Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Plaguing Evolved custom scenarios. I fancy an SCP based scenario today. Unfortunately, given that I have been doing this for a while, I've already played most of the highly rated SCP scenarios on the Steam Workshop. But after browsing it a bit, I found one that's not listed as SCP in the title, but if you look through the description, is absolutely SCP related and it somehow has escaped my notice. It is called Bone Hive. And as you can see, it's actually pretty highly rated by You Had a Bad Day. That gives back some memories. This is a message to all humans. An experimented version of an SCP known as Bonehive has escaped from a lab. All citizens stay away from others. Thank you. Christmas update now live. I do not know what SCP this is necessarily going to be based on. Except for maybe the one that kind of turns like all your flesh and your entire body into... Uh, calcified bones and such, but you know, we'll see if that's the one. This is a bacteria type, of course, ATP, boost Darwinist, Oxidrax, Humifile, and Symptostasis on normal difficulty. It's Bone Hive Queen. Okay. Welcome to this custom scenario. Here you play as an escaped SCP Queen. Your goal, infest Earth and turn it into Hive Heaven. Before you do, though, you need to select a country. Okay, how about good old-fashioned uh, Brazil? Yeah, I thought I was going to go with the Saudi Arabia, and so did I until the last possible second. Transmissions, what do we got here? We have Christmas transfers. On the first day of Christmas, the others gave to me a Christmas plague tree. Plague tree, sorry. Um, okay, I know it said that there was a Christmas update in the description. Uh, I wasn't expecting actually Christmas. Not sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Uh, let's go for the water, since I think that Brazil is considered to be humid, and we'll go for a couple ups of that. Oh my gosh, it's so cheap. What the crud? These are extremely cheap transmissions. All right, well, I'm not going to say no. Let's go for two, le two levels of water and one level of air. And we'll go for the uh, next level as well. Brazil is not considered to be a poor country, although it is surrounded by poor countries. So going for blood is probably not a bad idea, though it actually doesn't say. Wait, these are customized uh, uh, descriptions. Oh, I should have checked that. Sorry, hang on. I assume these were the same. Hive queens learn to latch on boats, allowing access to travel overseas, increasing infectivity, especially in the humid Mm, excuse me, areas. Water 2. Queens learn to breathe underwater and swim. Okay. Air 1. Bone Hive Queen learns to fly, allowing more air co uh, area coverage, increasing infectivity. Fly with the wind. And then, yeah, blood to blood transfer. Okay. Well, hmm. Still no clue really to what SCP number this is. So far, it almost seems like it's just some random kind of weird, creepy monster, and it's just being tagged with SCP because, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Begin transformation. The hive transformation has begun. The trait allows access of transformation symptoms. No statistic change. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick it up for the heck of it. Nausea. Mm okay, hosts start to feel ill and begin to want to lay down more. Look at what I had in mind. Blood clots. Due to the amount, double M's, of eggs in the bloodstream, there is a chance that there will be a blood clot. There's eggs in the bloodstream? That's terrifying. Okay, and it's pretty lethal, actually. Fat buildup. Hosts get fat as they need to lie down more. Okay, so just, we're going to say uh, sedentary lifestyle. Got it. Itchiness. Hosts start to feel itchy in areas near blood veins, slowing down the future research speed. And extreme joy. They start to laugh at bad jokes and horrid things. Oh, and Yali, the scenario's about you. It's not really about you, honey. I was just... I'm sorry. I just... Never mind. Okay, so we have hive, hive development. Now that the people are hives, you can now develop the hive stuff. No statistic change. Okay. And species development. If you want to be great at infecting, you must develop immunities to things. No statistic change. The reason I'm making that joke at Yali's expense is because she has a rather unusual sense of humor, okay? She's the sort of person who will tell non-jokes, and she thinks they are absolutely hilarious. Mm -hmm. I will give you her favorite one. A dog walks into a forest and sees a whale. And the whale's just laying there in the forest, and the dog walks up and is like, what are you doing in a forest? Shouldn't you be in an ocean? And the whale says, yes. That's it. That is the joke. That is the entire joke. And even as I say that, I hear her in the other room laughing right now. I'm just saying. So when I say she laughs at bad jokes, and maybe it's supposed to be like inappropriate jokes, but I'm going to assume that they're actually just quality, low quality jokes and horrid things that that's what it's about. So that was a joke that I'm making at my wife's expense. Hopefully she will not be too cross at me later on. Okay, so we have the blood too. Now we can go for ultimate travel. Excessive travel experience allows quick transfer. Very good at infectivity. I guess we can pick that up. We also have eggs. The eggs lay eggs in the... Sorry, the queen lays eggs, not the eggs laying eggs. Oh my gosh, the eggs are laying eggs. It's like babies making babies. Oh God. All right. Um, let's see. Laying eggs in the bloodstream in more excess than before, increasing infectivity. Well, 
I'm not sure how much good that's going to do. Seems we got the blood clot even before we started laying the eggs in the bloodstream, but that's okay. I'm going to avoid the Christmas stuff if that's alright. I just don't think it really seems that appropriate. Insta maturity. When the eggs hatch, the offspring will become independent and will exit the body through waste. Ew. Grossness. Okay, everyone, everyone check your poo. Make sure no bugs are crawling out of it. I assume these are bugs. We, I mean, whenever we say a hive queen, I assume it's bug-based. It could be anything else. That's just my, like, immediate reference point there. So we'll go for this for more infectivity, and that seems pretty good as is. We could go for photophobia, which does reduce infectivity but increase severity, and that seems okay. Bone blistering one. Here we go. The true transformation begins. Hosts start to hide in dark places, and the skin starts to be replaced with bones. This is starting to remind me a little bit of the SCP scenario where people started to turn into nothing but giant things of bone, right? Uh, I don't rec- Whoa, my god, what just happened? I don't know where all that came from. Um, I was gonna say, uh, I don't know why there's a Hive Queen involved. I don't remember that being a thing, but maybe it is. Hive development. We can lead to reproduction, decreasing reproduct- uh, lethality, sorry, or food. Okay, or we can go for species development. Which do we want? Well, let's see. Resistances, drug resistances, genetic hardening. Let's go for the drug, uh, drug resistance uh, because that's pretty good. Let's go for some cold resistance so we can spread a little bit faster in a few key areas. I certainly do not want to miss out on places like Greenland just because we started getting around a little bit too fast. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure what we should go for in this case. Are those two different paths to victory? It doesn't seem that way. It seems like these are literally just resistances. If that's the case, why do this? Why have the species development here that cost me a point? Why not just have these out by default? I don't know. Uh, let's see. A random hive becomes a designated drone which loses its harmful features. Okay, decreasing lethality. Let's just go ahead and do that. Sounds like we're not going for a lethal playthrough. Now we have the bone blistering, though, and is that the last country? Madagascar is the only remainder. Well, so far no one's shut down any of their ports, except for the UK, surprisingly. So hopefully, yep, there's Madagascar right there. Okay, now we can do whatever we want. Reproduction 2, the drone begins to mate with the queen, where the, as the workers begin making the lungs an incubation chamber. Oh, gosh. This is starting to give me some of the creepy crawlies, I'm not going to lie. Reproduction 3, the incubation chamber, i.e. The, uh, the lungs, is finished and the eggs are put in it and hatch. Bleah. All right, let's go for food. That leads to food too. Hive members begin to gather their own food, but it breaks up on their own, decreasing severity a minuscule amount. Food three. Okay, that leads to pupa. Pu pupa? Pupa. Pupa. Pupa nutrition. The baby hive members use the food provided to become strong. Increases severity. So you maybe lose severity just to gain an inconsequential amount of severity and only 29 DNA. Just want to point out that that's kind of what we call a waste. An absolute waste. All right, so none of this is actually very impactful yet. We may have to just go for raw lethality then. This is actually a total mistake. I don't know why we did this. Uh, let's go for bone blistering too. Humans fully transform into hives. Skin is completely or completely replaced with bones and all life signs end, increasing severity and lethality. Queen birth. A female bone hive has been born. Soon destruction will ensue, increasing severity. No, it doesn't. And if it does, it's a minuscule amount. Again, barely noticeable. Oh my god. Hive destruction. After the queen grows up, the hive becomes destroyed. Lethality becomes full. Should we have been forced to grab queen birth first? I don't know, but at 50 DNA, I'm certainly not going to wait for it. Let's just go ahead and make sure that we get Greenland fully infected. Max lethality means the world is going to die extremely quickly. We just got the queen birth automatically, actually, so kind of works with the mutation chance, actually. The world has been fully infected, and now we're just going to max out that lethality and watch literally everything just burn around us. That's all there is to it. Burn, burn, burn. Boom, 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 bada, boom, ba, be, ba, boop, be, ba, ba, zippity, zappity, zoop, zip, ba, zoo. I'm just waiting for this to happen. Come on, go faster. Max lethality is still too slow. Hello. Just fi finish him off already. They're supposed to explode. All the bones are supposed to explode. Why does it take weeks to do that? All right, Bone Hive Queen has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. That was a pretty fast scenario, all in all. 246 days, and that's with me telling a joke, and it still took about 10 minutes. But yeah, now 24% cure progress, 101,709 points, and overall three stars, which is pretty typical whenever you get under 250 days, regardless of circumstance. Um, again, I'm not too sure which SCP this is supposed to be based on. I need to look this up real quick. Let me see. SCP Bone Hive. Uh, let's see. SCP-439, that's the one. I'm going to go ahead and look at the SCP Foundation real quick. Yes, turns the entire body and all your skin and everything else into bone. There is, in fact, a queen. Okay, so I am wrong. There is a bone hive that is going to be inside of the body, 
and a queen does emerge, chooses a drone to mate with. At that point, the colony destroys itself by rupturing, and the majority of insects die. Okay, so uh, that's it then. It's SCP-439. If you ever want to read up on that, that's where you go. But this is, in fact, the scenario based on SCP-439. Glad to have that question answered. Could have been included in the title. Would have been a little bit easier to understand what we're looking forward to. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed this video, and if so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.